In late 2010, Avid, formerly Digital Design, introduced their latest version of Pro Tools, Pro Tools 9. In this mini course, we'll take a look at what's new in Pro Tools 9. Previously to Pro Tools 9, there were three versions of the Pro Tools software, HD, LE, and M-Powered. Well, now all three versions have been combined and brought up to the same software capabilities. M-Powered and LE are now called Pro Tools 9, and the HD version has been relabeled HD9. In addition, there's now an HD native version, which allows you to buy cheaper hardware, gives you all the capability of HD9 with a few exceptions, such as the ability to run TDM plugins. That's not available in the native version of Pro Tools, but it's a great way to get into Pro Tools HD for lower cost. The other major change in Pro Tools is their support for third-party audio interfaces. So in addition to all of the Avid and DigiDesign audio interfaces, we can now support audio interfaces from Apogee, Motu, and many other companies. Any audio interface that supports Core Audio on the Mac or ASIO on Windows will work with Pro Tools. The other major change is in terms of track counts. Here we can see the track counts for LE and HD version 8. In Pro Tools 9, we've doubled the number of simultaneous playback voices and drastically increased all the other track counts as well. So just about any computer can support a greater number of track counts. When you add on the complete production toolkit, you double the voices again, and you also add 64 tracks of video. Finally, the HD version of Pro Tools 9 increases over HD8 the aux tracks, the buses, which are doubled, and the MIDI tracks, which are also doubled. So much higher track counts in Pro Tools 9. Now, beyond all these improvements in Pro Tools capabilities, you also have some new features. All versions of Pro Tools 9 include automatic delay compensation. This was previously available only in HD versions of the software. You also have other enhancements that come from the HD version of Pro Tools, like the ability to import session data, tracks, plugin information, and so forth. It's now easier than ever to move your sessions between platforms or even between studios. You now have multi-track beat detective in Pro Tools 9, and you also have a timecode ruler and auto-scrolling, which is great for larger sessions to get you quickly to the track you want to focus on. In addition to these features, there are a few more things. Pro Tools now supports surround configurations up to 7.0 and 7.1 with HD or the Complete Production Toolkit 2. Pro Tools 9 adds a much requested enhancement, the ability to set the stereo pan depth. You can configure the stereo pan depth under the session option, and it's very, very easy to set up. OMF and AAF import are both available, as is MP3 export. These used to be add-on capabilities that you had to purchase. Now they're built into Pro Tools 9. And we have support for Avid and Digital Design Pre's across all platforms. So as you can see, Avid has done a lot to standardize software features across all platforms. And we'll take a look at a few of those features in more detail in the next couple videos.